Allison, are you here? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Go right ahead. Yes, we can. Go right ahead. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Allison Dunna, and I have been struggling with the traumatizing effects of EHS or electromagnetic hypersensitization in Cambridge, Massachusetts, since the first release of digital Wi-Fi technologies in the 90s, 30 years ago now. During this time, with a few confused exceptions, at no time have I knowingly owned or operated any kind of wireless device. Since the deployment of 5G, the severity of my symptoms has escalated dramatically. So I have been working closely with both a physician and a neurologist at Mount Auburn Hospital to more confidently establish the lack of any alternative explanations. My blood work is fine. My peripheral nervous system tested normal and my central nervous system is also fine. What's getting blocked is the communications between my central and peripheral nervous systems, between my brain and my body. And this manifests as a speech impediment and a taxi of people with a taxi walk and talk and fall over and run into things and drop things and break things like we are drunk, like we are stone cold, sober. It is unbelievably scary to even cross a street, let alone go grocery shopping or even walk around the block. The vertigo, the flushing, the insomnia, fatigue, constipation, and multiple chemical sensitivities all pale in comparison to the ataxia and speech impediment that set in in March of 2020 and escalated to new heights in August of 2021. We need this commission. We must proceed with more caution. The negative impacts of runaway EMFs and EMR are very real. Please, we need to pause and take the time to figure this out. Thank you. Thank you.